Hello YouTube, this is Cody the Coin Raptor here with another fantastic video involving Bitcoin and crypto. And today is a very, 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 very important day. Today we had some absolutely amazing news that I can't wait to share with you guys regarding Bitcoin, regarding crypto, and the news that we've been waiting for for the past, say, two years or so. And I'll tell you all about it in today's video. But before we get to that, be sure to subscribe, be sure to hit that like button, and be sure to follow me on X. So Bitcoin today up about 4% because of a very specific reason, something very bullish for Bitcoin and crypto. Now Ethereum up about 3% or so, giving up a little bit of its gains in the last hour. But I want to go ahead and get to the big news of the day, which is the FOMC, okay? The Federal Open Market Committee, Jerome Powell, and the Fed making decisions, okay? And they've decided to hold rates steady, all right? Which is something that we already thought that they were going to be doing. However, the more important part here is that they are indicating three rate cuts coming in 2024, okay? So let me just go ahead and put this in a perspective of how incredibly important news this is. For the last almost two years, the Fed has been talking about higher for longer, higher for longer, higher for longer, raising rates, raising rates, raising rates, and it has been a nonstop march higher in the Fed funds rate and everything, all the uh, from the traditional markets to the crypto markets, everything has been getting hammered, frankly. And the reason for that is because, uh, as the saying goes, investors don't want to fight the Fed. Well, now the Fed has pivoted. Finally, we start to get new information, and they have indicated that they are going to be cutting in 2024. Finally, we have guessing we guessed previously that they would be cutting in 2024, but this is the first actual official information that we have gotten that they are going to be cutting in 2024. And so they showed that on the dot plot. They said, okay, we're going to probably have three cuts coming, and it's probably going to be about uh, 25 bips a cut, so about 75 total. Okay, not huge, but that's still very noticeable. And the reason why they're able to cut is because inflation has been coming down and not because the economy has been falling into the trash can. All right, so how does this affect Bitcoin? Well, if you put Bitcoin up next to the Fed funds rate here in orange, what you can see is a very clear inverse relationship. As the Fed funds rate increases, Bitcoin tends to peak and then decrease. And then as the Fed funds rate finally levels off, Bitcoin tends to move much higher. Okay, so we've seen here back in 2018, they stopped cutting, Bitcoin goes up. They stopped cutting, or they stopped... Um, raising rates in 2020, and they started cutting, you saw Bitcoin go up, all right? Now we're starting to see something very similar play out where they're deciding they're not going to be raising rates anymore, and they're going to be cutting next year, which means Bitcoin has been basically given the green light, all right, to move much higher, and you don't have the Fed putting its hands on the scales, preventing Bitcoin from doing what it does. Now, the question you have to ask yourself is, are we on the cusp of another major bull market? And there's a very important indicator that you guys are looking at right here that will tell us if we're close to that point. And if you take a look at the RSI here at the bottom, I have this on the monthly, you can see that for every major bull market, the start of every major bull market, or at least close to the peak, you can see the RSI kind of start and then run all the way up and basically go from... Uh, in, in many cases, like 45 or so, all the way up to about 90, all right? And we are right in the middle of such an amazing move. Bitcoin going from about 40 or so on the RSI all the way up here to about where it is right now, which is 62. And if this is the start of a bull market, what that means is that we could see it go all the way up to potentially 90, 80, somewhere in that range, and we could see Bitcoin retest the all-time highs, and then even surpass it. So I think we're on the cusp of a bull market, the start of a bull market. It definitely is looking that way, and especially with the Fed out of the way, I think that really gives us the green light for Bitcoin to finally challenge its all-time high set back in November of 2021. Not to mention, we have the halving next year as well, and a potential Bitcoin spot ETF approval 
and that's possible. I don't know if it's going to happen next year or not, but it is very possible that we do get uh, news on that. So if we zoom in here, we're going to look a little bit more closely to the Bitcoin price. And I drew in this really nice little downtrend here. Bitcoin has kind of popped above the downtrend right now. It needs to confirm the breakout. But if it does confirm the breakout, that puts 44K into range, this 44.3 level. And then above that, what you're looking at is about 47,000. And I do believe that Bitcoin is going to get to that 47,000 level. Now, whether it does it before the end of the year, I'm not 100% sure. But I do believe we're going to get there um, within the next month call it two months or so, and Bitcoin will go, be, go back to uh, the 47K region. Now, the other thing I want to point out is the dollar index. The dollar index took a big fat dump today. You can see here it went all the way through the support level here at about 103. We actually have to move this down a little bit now. Now our new support level here is about 102. The dollar index has been getting crushed, and this is something that I've been talking about quite a few times here on the channel because the fact that the dollar index, again, moves inversely to Bitcoin. So as the dollar index moves down, Bitcoin tends to move up. And right now, the dollar is looking very weak, especially as inflation fears come in. The Fed decides to stop raising rates. Now you're getting a weaker and weaker dollar. People are moving their money from the dollar into uh, stocks and crypto and appreciating assets and there's less fear in the market, okay? So this is really important. Now, if the dollar loses this vital support level at 102.60, you are gonna see some fireworks. In fact, I've been saying this whole time that I think the dollar can go down back down to 100, and I do think that it's well on its way back down to 100, okay? Now, I also wanna go ahead and talk about our Bitcoin, our long-term holder supply, all right? This continues to still be fairly high. It's still sitting at about 85% or so. And this continues to be a bullish indicator for Bitcoin. No one is selling right now that has a, a long-term outlook on Bitcoin. They are waiting for that all-time high again. And most likely we'll wind up seeing them sell near that level. Now, if you guys are curious about when we could be expecting those rate cuts. If you go ahead and take a look at the CME uh, Group's FedWatch tool, we can look here and see that about March or so, 2024, that's when we're expecting that very first rate cut, okay? So in about um, three months' time, we could potentially be seeing a that 25 uh, BIPs rate cut, okay? And again, that would be bullish for Bitcoin. It'd be bullish for stocks. It'd be bullish for anything that's considered risk on by the market. Now, I also want to go ahead and cover the liquidation heat map as well. And I'm going to give you guys the target levels for the liquidation heat map. Now, on the downside here, we have significant long liquidation here at about 40,500. Uh, if we do ever go down to that level again, we will sit, we'll hit those significant uh, liquidation points for longs. Now, on the upside, what you're looking at here is about 44,300. That level exactly that I put in before. When we looked at our Bitcoin charts, 44,300 right here, you have a massive amount of short liquidity just sitting right above that level. So if Bitcoin can push above that level, we're going to hit 47K no problem. All right. So that's something to pay attention to. Now, lastly, I want to talk about options here real quick. So December options have been fairly significant for Bitcoin. In fact, this is one of the largest options expiry I've seen in a while. The 29th of December, you're looking at $4.2 billion worth of Bitcoin call options expiring and about $2.6 billion worth of puts expiring on the 29th of December. Now, at the end of the year, you would kind of expect that you would wind up seeing a large expiry, but this is absolutely enormous. There's going to be some huge volatility heading up to the end of the month and expect that if we do wind up seeing a huge capitulation of the longs or the shorts, Bitcoin is going to fly in one direction or another. And I do believe that direction is most likely going to be to the upside. OK, so I think 47K is definitely possible. Now, we can wind up seeing this 
a lot of fuel for the fire for these options. The max pain price is at 32000 which is way off. Now, a lot of people, when they were buying these options, uh, they were putting in 32000 and uh, these options may have been purchased months ago before Bitcoin made the jump past 32 k but now we're starting to see a, a large amount of that uh, also being put at about the 40000 level as well for call options. So it's very interesting to see if that's the level that we're going to wind up seeing some hardcore support. I do think that we're going to wind up seeing heavy support there at about 40,000, 42, uh, 40, somewhere in that range. And we'll wind up seeing um, some significant buying pressure come in and people buying the dip at those levels. All right. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Let me know what you guys think. Is this the start of a new bull market? Leave your comments below and I will catch you guys in the next video.